All right, Shalom. <laughs> Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and Hebrew well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Kind, you know, call hello, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Rakata. You know, it says top port producer shuts major plant after coronavirus sickens workers. At the water you how by Shimmy I was shy for that, man. You know, for the ones of our people who indulge in pork, okay, these abominable foods, you how by Shimmy I was shy is bringing it to an end, man. All right, it says Smithfield, the work, the world's largest pork producer, okay has indefinitely sh sh shuttered its sprawling port processing facility in Sioux Falls, South Dakota at the more than 230 workers tested positive for the coronavirus, man. All right? And, I mean, there's several ways I can go into this lesson, <clears throat> but I'm just going to bring out um, the law on it, okay? This is Leviticus 11 and 7. And this is going into the, the clean and unclean animals. For you Israelites, man. Matter of fact, uh, before I get that, let's go to Leviticus 26 and 46. Matter of fact, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to bring that out second. Slack you. This is Leviticus 11 and 7. It says, And the swine, okay, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed because a pig, all right, is, con is considered swine, you know? It's all types of names for a pig, a hog, okay, a sow, okay, things of that nature, all right. It says, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you, to who? The Israelites. Now, I'm going to hold that. Now, I'm going to go to Leviticus 26 and 46. It says, these are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. So you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? And the speckled bird whose seed goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are not to be eating pork, man. And the Lord's bringing your sweet, savory uh, uh, taste buds to an end of that nonsense, man, of that abominable food. All right, and this is a law. This is a law. You abide by uh, uh, Esau's law, but won't abide by the heavenly Father's law. Is you crazy? Okay, it says these are the statutes and judgments and laws, Leviticus twenty-six and forty-six, which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hands of who? The hands of Moses, as the scriptures say. So going back, all right, it says. Uh, matter of fact, I'll play the clip. And then I'll finish out the rest of Leviticus and we'll see where the spirit goes from there. Every time we report new developments in the COVID-19 outbreak, you send us good questions. And we've been doing our very best to find the answers for you. A lot of people have questions after the outbreak at a pork plant in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This Smithfield facility shut down temporarily after more than 80 employees tested positive for the virus. Some of you planning to cook an Easter ham from Smithfield are wondering if it's safe to eat. Well, the short answer is yes, it is safe to eat, according to the federal government. The Department of Agriculture and the FDA say there is no evidence the coronavirus is transmitted through food or through food packaging. All right. So. <clears throat> let's go back and look, it's not safe to eat. It's not safe for you Israelites. OK. It's not safe for you Israelites back in Leviticus 11 and 8. It says, of their flesh shall ye not eat bacon, ham hocks, cracklings, chicharron, uh, pork chops, okay, pork bacon. I mean, you name it, man. You are not supposed to eat it. It says, and their carcass ye shall not touch. They are unclean to you. You see? You see why the Lord's bringing these things? Because look, our people, our people, are, 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 look, let's get it. Let's get that. Uh, 
uh, Jeremiah 4. People are wise to do evil, man. And you're consuming pork. It's evil. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. A bunch of blockheads, meatballs, nincompoops, dunts, jackasses. Okay? The Lord's people. That word my is possessive. Once again, you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. I know the Lord. You know? But you got a ham sandwich in your mouth, man. It says they are sottish children. And they have none understanding. None understanding of what? Of the scriptures. That's why when you read the scriptures, it tells you in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, wisdom is the principal thing, which means the most important. And with all thy getting, get understanding on why you're not supposed to do certain things and why you are supposed to do certain things. Get the understanding behind it. Okay, because your life uh, depends on it. It says, but to do good, they have no knowledge. <laughs> they have no knowledge, man, to do good. You can eat lamb. All right. You can eat a uh, uh, goat, deer. All uh, it's, it's it's different types of meat that you can eat, man. But when it comes to pork, and look, and look, as well as uh, shellfish, shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, those things you're not supposed to eat. And now people are, 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 are wise when it comes to all types of uh, 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 you know dishes for pork chops and you know all types of uh lobster and shrimp dishes man okay they'll whip something up real clever and, and and quick man you know wise to do evil but to do good do what the lord commands them to do as a nation okay they uh, our people can't do it they have no knowledge so that's pretty much it man matter of fact let me see what the rest of this uh Read some more of this article. <clears throat> it says, Smithfield CEO Kim Sullivan warned the closure of Sioux Falls plant, which employs about 3,700 people and accounts for 4 to 5% of U.S. pork production, combined with the shutdown of the U.S. meat processing facilities, is pushing our country perilously close to the edge of a meat shortage. Mm. It is possible to keep our, it's impossible to keep our grocery stores stocked if our plants are not running Sullivan said in a statement these facility closures will also have severe perhaps uh, uh, diastrous repercussions for many in the supply chain mm-hmm the shutdown and this is <clears throat> this is all coming from your how about shimmy out shot man you know <clears throat> this is this is going to a famine of food What's the Lord said he was going to bring? Um, look at the precept on that. This is Matthew 24. And I get to the point. Um, 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation. Race rights. And kingdom against kingdom. You know. Uh, you know. Russia. You know. China. North Korea. Okay. Iran going against America. And these other nations. It says, And there shall be famines. A lack of food, bread, and water. This is a lack of food right here. Okay? And pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And these are the beginning of sorrows for our people. When they can't get their savory pork. Okay? When they can't get their uh, crispy bacon. Their fat back. Alright? It's going to be over for them. And the water you have by Shimi, I was shy for that, man. You know? So, um, I didn't want to make this lesson too long. I just want to, you know, throw this out there in, 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 uh, in the air, you know? Um, you know, the major port plant is shutting down, man. Oh, let's get that real fast. Um, what's that? Ecclesiastes. We're ending off on Ecclesiastes, Salakia. Um, you know, the Lord, the Lord's closing up shop, man, with these jobs as well, because... You know, people work in those shops, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12. And I get to the point um, three. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. That's right. These elites that run the society, the governments, okay, shall tremble. 
and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. That's right. Grinders, the work, the workforce. Okay. You know, people say like, I'm, I'm about to go get my grind on. That means they're about to go do some work. All right. It says because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened because they don't see a future. You know. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. Is what you see going on now, man. A lot of businesses are closed down. Okay? And they got signs up. Closed due to the, cor the coronavirus, man. COVID-19. When the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up to the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. That's right. And, you know, you have people waking up early. Because they're used to working. You know? But what? There's no work. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And they have been brought low. The music is trash, all right? And look, a lot of these artists and entertainers, they can't go out and uh, and do shows due to coronavirus, you know? But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. You know, with that, let it give all praise, honor, glory to the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, whom we will. Another shalom to all the sincere Akians throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.